This is Juan Podcast. All right, guys. Uh, my first time doing this. I uh, don't know if it's going to be the only time or if I'm going to uh, maybe make this a one-off situation here, but I do have a few few words that I want to say. Um, This is the WAD podcast. Um, We don't know what it means. It stands for for World of Devon, which is uh, the name of my channel. I am here um, to talk to you guys mainly about relationship advice, and um, we're going to talk about some other cool things as well, you know, a lot of fun things in pop culture and entertainment and stuff and whatnot, but what I want you to do first is I want you to hit that, uh, if you're on the channel, I want you to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell, you know, so whenever um, I drop these podcasts, you'll be notified. Um, I might put them on a different channel, you know, who knows, but uh, yeah. We're gonna get into this right now, so uh, let's let's go, let's go, let's do this. This is Wad Podcast. Okay, first things first. It is twelve o three p.m. here in Fresno, California. Uh, the degrees outside, I am unaware of yet. Matter of fact, let me just look for you real quick. Um, very huge on um, the weather making a statement on how uh, I'm going to feel. And some people uh, do the same way of how they're going to feel. So uh, let's check this out right now. The noise in the background stuff. So, uh, something else. Um, so uh, let me see. Um, and right now, while you're waiting for me to tell you what the weather is, um, I want you to, um, just sit back and relax, you know, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, subscribe to the podcast and everything. We're going to be talking about a lot of dating advice today, mainly why women get rejected. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're just, um, we're going to get into that, um, as soon as I can find out, weather here I don't know why it's not showing where are you okay you know what I'm not finding it so uh yeah but um enjoy um enjoy today people um if you're outside today hope you're enjoying the weather we're gonna get into this right now um five reasons why women get cheated across the board um Sorry, get rejected. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so number one, straight off back, one of the reasons women get rejected is because oh, sometimes they come off too strong and not strong enough. Uh, there's a fine line between you know coming uh, across or bearing and confident, just like there is between being nice and being boring. And women want a decisive man who can take control, but she also wants to know, she wants to know you will give her options and a uh, space for her to move, you know? Um, and some women just uh, plain don't know how to uh, to talk to other men, you know? Uh, their risk level is, is very low. And so what they do is they um, they they all they always expect the man to approach them because that's what they were taught. That's what we were all taught to that that we're supposed to approach the woman when and when a, when a woman can approach a man. You know, um, I have an example for for a first date. Um, I actually <laughs> I'm not gonna disclose the person's name, but um, I uh, had knew this girl who um see me in public a couple of times you know i would always uh, promote my channel i still do by the way make sure you guys subscribe and um she told me um 
you know, when I was promoting my channel, you know, she asked me questions and she seemed, uh, you know, she seemed interested in what I was doing and stuff. And I didn't know it was beyond that, of course. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you, you, uh, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of see these things coming. So, um, I seen her again one day after I got off work and keep in mind, I was dirty, was filthy. <laughs> like, I, like, like, I just like need to go home real bad, take a shower. Like, like my, my clothes had flour all over them and it was just, it was, it was rough, you know, but, uh, didn't stop her, <laughs> did not stop her. Um, so what happened was is that she seen me on the bus and i got on the bus and i sat down and before i got on the bus as soon as i got on the bus i looked over and i can catch her just looking at me you know usually uh, a woman would uh a woman if she likes you you know usually in my case she'll keep making glances at you you know that's a sign of her wanting you to come and talk to her but this at this point this woman just kept looking at me she didn't turn away you know so she clearly liked what she had seen so you know me of course not taking that into advantage i didn't pay any attention to it at all you know i just went and sat down and um what happened was was that um it came down to a point where i uh started to learn things about about um affection and especially public affection and 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 a woman's body language and stuff whatnot so um before she got off the bus uh, she um had turned around to talk to me because she remembered that she remembered that i, I promoted my youtube channel to her and um she was interested in stuff so she asked her to come and sit next to her it was exactly right next to her and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind doing that. You know, I don't mind talking. You know, even though, I, like I said, I felt very dirty and icky, and I just wanted to get home and shower. You know, like I wasn't gonna be rude. You know, so um, she told me to come sit next to her. We started talking about a couple of things and whatnot. Um, you know, uh, talked about my channel, how I'm doing, and everything. And you know, everything went off without a blast. So before, well, she was getting ready to get out the bus. I'm, and thank God the bus driver waited. <laughs> In any other case, I don't think the bus driver would have waited. So you know, but uh, she um, she took it upon herself to come over and ask me for my Instagram, and she asked me for my Snapchat. You know, and she and these are things that I was like, okay, you know, I don't mind giving this away. You know, like I just kind of promote my channel on there, I post pictures of myself sometimes or whatnot. You know, uh, videos, family things and stuff. It's like, okay, cool. So basically, um, I gave this to her, and before you know it, like um, three or four days later, me and her wind up getting started talking. You know, getting into a relationship or whatnot and stuff. So. Um, it's possible for a woman to approach a man and stuff or whatnot, but you have to know uh, who you're approaching and why you're approaching them, and you have to be approaching them for the right reasons. Otherwise, it's going to uh, stand out. So, yeah. All right. Uh, number two is you are friend zoning yourself. Pretty much. Here's the thing. Even if she has already thought she can friend zone you, you can actually change her mind. Friend zoning usually happens when you are too available and too nice and she feels safe around you and can trust you, which is great. But you need to keep up the chase and add a little bit of danger and excitement, but not always agree with what she says and does and by taking control a little bit more. Now, I have an I have an issue I have like one issue with this statement. <laughs> this is I was gonna make this a whole nother uh uh video you know a whole nother podcast but i guess i'll say it here never chase do not chase and i'm talking to her i'm talking to my men out there do not chase a woman do not chase because when you chase this woman you give her complete control of the entire narrative you know you're kind of like give you're kind of giving away the steerage of the ship do not do that no if you if a woman wants you and if she likes you you make her come to you this is what it is you know and i'm talking to my woman there as well do not let a man chase you sometimes just go for it you know 
if you really want the man to know how much you love them or how or what kind of feelings you have for them or or where you guys stand at then definitely just go for it just go and give yourselves the opportunity to uh how do you put it um relate on a lot of topics you know there's nothing wrong with that i don't think there's anything wrong with that whatsoever so yeah just definitely do that definitely do that and trust me you will get yourself far in life but yeah definitely do that like really uh but here's a, here's another here's another solution allow her to see you in positions where you can show your leadership skills and have other women respond to you men um don't also be so available because they can sense that they it seems desperate to them you know every time things get a bit Platonic, step back and get her to chase you a little more. That's all I'm saying. That's all you got to do. Um, it is 12, 13 p.m. Um, I will be right back with the rest of this podcast. Uh, till then, remember what I'm saying, women. Um, it's okay to chase men. It's okay to chase. Don't make it too obvious and stuff. But if you are going to chase a man, make sure you have, make sure your risk level was up to par and make sure you uh, know what you want and know what you want to say. Because a lot of women embarrass themselves when they uh, do these things. So, uh, yeah, make sure you get through that and everything. And, uh, yeah, the time again, once again, is 12, 13 p.m. And we will be right back on Wild Podcast.